It's JB Live. <laughs> this is Joy Sibaji on Hot 93.3. There was this part of that song that I just played. Uh, is it James Blake? Where he said, you have five degrees, but you're in debt or something. Like, or you're in six-figure debt. <laughs> you guys should leave career people alone. We all can't start businesses in this world. <laughs> I was about that just made me laugh. Anyways, how is your Wednesday going? Are you at work? Are you at home? Are you in school? Are you chilling? Um, the weather seems better, right? Yesterday's weather in the evening was so nice. I had to take a drive around Lekki. It was really cool. I just hope it's the same today. So anyways, whatever you're doing, this is the show. You know you have to listen. It's good music and great conversation. So yesterday, I think I started this topic kind of yesterday um, when I talked about social media and the fact that, that it's a community that is as real as real can be. And, you know, if you don't understand that by now, then you're either going to be broke for a very long time or you're just going to di- you're just going to disconnect yourself from what is about to happen. The future is digital and the the faster you accept that, the better for you, better for everything. Everything is digital. So today we're going to just talk about social media etiquette. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about social media etiquette. So this is our reality now. Social media in the internet is our reality now. And how do we conform or how do we present ourselves in this new reality? Some people just don't know how. So we're going to talk about social media etiquette. If you have anything to share about your own social media experience, feel free to send me a WhatsApp message on 0818-008-9933. I'm going to be sharing some no-nos on social media. Yeah, so I'll be back to give you, give you my first two social media etiquette, the things you need to learn and the things you shouldn't ever, ever do on social media. You know, for a very long time, I've struggled with the the is it the new nigerian sound the afro pop but everybody sounds like everybody you know and i'm like a 90s girl so in the in the 90s like 95 96 not nigerian 95 like, i mean of course we were listening to biggie and all that they were so distinct you know their sounds were so <laughs> so distinct you could tell who is ta- who is you, you could tell who is singing at the moment you could tell who is rap you could just tell this is very distinct sounds right and just and then you just come you know to the <laughs> to the new millennium and then you just realize wow everybody just sounds it's so hard to even know who is singing like everything just sounds so linear to my like it's just like in my head like all the sounds just the same so it's just i just switch off <laughs> literally i swear i'm working on it though because you know it's part of the show it's part of the job of being on radio but no it's just like it just sounds like this really long, tiring line and just the same thing. And it's not just in Nigeria. It's actually everywhere now. You know, even, you know, abroad. They just also sound so alike. I think it's old age <laughs> on my part. <laughs> Anyways, oh, we're talking about social media etiquette. And I have a few uh, no-nos that I think we should share. And if you do have some... Some of these things you want to share with me, social media etiquette, you know what to do. Send it to WhatsApp, 0818008993. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at hotfm underscore Lagos and on Facebook, hotfm Lagos. You can follow me on Instagram at Joy Baraji and I'm also on Facebook at La, as Joy Isibaraji. Okay, the first thing you need to know is don't mix business and pleasure when you're on social media. If you're going to have a business page, have a business page. And keep it professional. If you're going to have a personal page, have a prof- personal page and do whatever you want to do on the personal page. But when you use your business handle to troll, to make nasty comments, to argue or become part of some kind of mob on social media, you're not doing your business any justice. Remember, after you finish trolling, you have to eat. You have to go and take care of your needs. And if you use your business, the, the platform you use in making money to become a troll and just being a nasty person, you're going to starve. It's that simple. You, because there is, there is going to come a time where 80% of your income will come from the digital space, especially when you do certain types of job. So you don't want to mix your business and your personal life together on social media. You want to make it very clear that you don't, the, whatever you represent does not represent your, your, your brand. And it's even better if people don't even, if people are not, uh, if you can't handle it, a lot of people are not very good with branding, personal branding and business branding. If you can't handle it, 
then make sure that your people, your personal people on social media are not even aware that that's your business. It's a very delicate balance. So you don't want to cross the lines. There's so many businesses I have ignored totally. I've even blocked because they use the whoever is in charge of the, the handle, use the personal space to troll. And I've seen I've seen people, bakers do that. I've seen tailors do that. I mean, fashion designers, whatever they call them these days. I've seen all kinds of people do stuff like that. And it's just like, are you, you really think I will patronize you? No. The one I really, really, was really funny to me. And they do this a lot. Um, so there's this um, photographer that took pictures of Tom Tudiki. I remember, was it the beginning of this year or last year? And I think she, okay, I think it was last year, you know, the celebrate, celebration, the celebration of Christmas and New Year. And she didn't give him credit. The, the whole logo thing, she didn't put it on her. I think she deleted all the logos on her pictures and put it on Instagram without the logo. And of course, the photographer was upset. And you know, I, I understand that you're upset. I understand you want to troll, right? But what really upset me with that conversation was when the the, photogra- the photographer and he still were saying, we'll just send out, we'll just send out all the um, untouched pictures so that people can see how you really look like. Yo, that's so dumb. <laughs> Is that your revenge plan? You know, so you have to be, ve- I'm, I'm never going to use a photographer like that. And, and I think he would, whoever is behind that handle would lose, you know, customers. Unless Nigerians are not very discerning, which, of course, yeah, well, moving on. So that's the thing. You know, you can't say that about a client. Whether they bring some, you know, be deeper than that. Which one is you're going to bring out her pictures and I guess we show how she really is? Oh, hello. <laughs> I have the chain smokers next. All right, we're still talking about social media etiquette. Um, the next one I have here is. Don't tag others, other people unnecessarily to your photos. Don't tag me to your photos though. Like you wake up in the, mo- I mean, for real, for real. These people wake up in the morning on Facebook, for instance, bare chested or whatever, or they have their makeup on and they're tagging me. I don't even, like, what's my business with your wake up face? With your beat, uh, face beat face? What's my business? I don't, so there's so many tags that I just look at it like, okay, so why am I here exactly? I can't take anybody seriously who tags 50 people at the same time. There is nothing you have to share personally that 50 people online should be interested in. It's just nothing. Unless you're selling um, a a bit of the moon, you know, you bottled it or something. It doesn't, it's really in the morning where we're trying to get our our brains to work and trying to figure out what the day is going to uh, be like. And then you send, you tag me to some random picture i don't care about your naked body in the morning <laughs> i don't care about your face beat face in the morning you things like that so don't do that for me if you do that three four times i'll just unfriend you but i don't i can't i can't shout you know so please don't tag unnecessarily on facebook on social media generally number three sense of humor and misogyny now misogyny is of course hatred for women now, a lot of people try, it, the thing about it, and I mean, even comedians will tell you that women, women, it's so easy to be a comedian if you can just throw jokes and offend women. And that's why I really don't go to, I don't go to comedy shows. I can't, I don't find these things funny. Stock up, call me stock up, whatever, but I don't find them funny. And then you bring that to social media and you are, you are literally showing your misogyny and then you are, you are saying you are, you are being humorous because the easiest way to even try to be funny these days is to try and just diss a woman. It's usually with sex or her body. You know, it's so easy. All you need to do is talk about her wig or maybe her plastic surgery or her broken heart. It's so easy to troll women. I I can't take anybody seriously who trolls women. It's just, it's so cheap. It's cliche. Try not to be that person. If you really want to be funny, then be be creative with your humor. Think of something else because... You know, this thing's, what goes around, it's a cycle. Life is a cycle. You have a mother, you have a sister, you have, you're going to have kids, you know. And the the whole trolling of female, you know, body parts, and it's just so tiring. And what really pisses me off the most is when women also go and start laughing like cows in, you know, in those kind of posts. They are trolling you though. They are telling you, just because they're not calling your name, they're calling somebody else's name. You must understand how the cycle works. If they troll one woman, they most likely are trolling 10 million women. That's how it works. So, no, no, no. I don't... It's just not good manners when 
you think and think, okay, how am I going to get the attention of people today on social media? Ah, let me throw Tokema Kinwa's butt. Yo, <laughs> you are dry. You're boring. Get a life. I have Mr. Easy next. All right. So I have here, don't get sucked into arguments. Don't get sucked into arguments. The thing about social media, there is a psychology to social media, right? So you, you are part of a conversation or maybe you, maybe you posted something that has the potential to cause or trigger a lot of, you know, argue, a lot of people coming to share their opinion and arguments are going to be boiling underneath all of the tense opinions that are being shared. If you find yourself in that situation, if you share a comment and somebody offends you, maybe they are nasty with their response and you share and you maybe respond to them one more time to tell them, oh, you're out of order and they carry on. At that point, they are trolling you. Don't respond anymore. That's how it works because you're just putting yourself, you're just, you're just, you're just putting yourself in a position where you'll be you'll be offended over and over again. They're not trying at that point. They're not trying to make any sense. They're not trying to understand your argument. They're not trying to have a conversation with you. They are just trolling. So when you put, when you respond to a comment and the person is nasty, you do have one more opportunity to tell this person, yo, you're out of order. Don't talk to me like that. Don't do that. The minute you do that and they keep going, uh, da, 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 you just don't respond anymore. Let it end because trust me, when you respond, that conversation will take six hours of your time, um, 55 comments extra, and then all the people that are going to be on his side, on your side, it's just not necessary. They're not paying you for this thing. <laughs> They're not paying you for this. Thing. It's just conversation, okay? So don't, don't get sucked into any argument or social media at all. It is not necessary. Let me tell you how crazy social media is. You find out that you're probably, you're probably having an argument with a house girl, and there's nothing wrong with being a housemate, but really, do you really want to be having an argument with a maid because her auntie is out of the house at work and she has 1000 naira data and she has some kind of education going on and then she just starts trolling you? You really want to do that? There's nothing wrong with what she's doing and there's nothing wrong with what your own job. But really, do you want to go down to that level to come and start trolling certain people? That's how social media is a leveler. It levels everybody. Everybody, the MD comes and it's trolling the gates man. That's social media. So you need to be discerning. Or else you just find yourself getting sucked into things that you have no business getting. And getting into conversation with people you don't have any business talking to. I'm sounding elitist, right? Right. Okay. Moving on. Don't jump into, don't jump into threads and people's comments. You don't know their history or relationship. Yeah. Some people can get away with being, you know, you know, they just, they just, they, they just, they, they try to be funny. They, they, they play with each other. When you see that kind of, um, familiarity going on because of, because two people are doing it, it doesn't mean that they're inviting you into that kind of conversation. It's that, that kind of thread might have nothing to do with you. So don't go there acting all familiar. Respect yourself. So maybe they are friends. They'd be friends for 20 years and they're just, you know, they're just trolling and just having fun. And it's not offensive because it's just both of them doing it. And then you carry your big head and you go there and you want to now be familiar. Yo. Yo, they're going to fry you and give you to the vultures. It's JB Live. I'm Joyce Sibalji. If you want to be part of the show, we're talking social media etiquettes. And I've shared quite some of the etiquettes that I have here. I will continue. The next one here is stop trolling. I talked about that a bit before the music. Um, stop trolling. And this idea of people, people have an ent their entire career is being savage on social media that's the some people their entire career is when somebody drops something or how what kind of response and it takes you know how to filter pictures on instagram takes hours that's how they plan their response sometimes on twitter to be savage like you just see it and like ah oh, what's the best response i can give so that i can just you know i can just blow this place down yo and then they just think about it for like three, four, five hours. And that's it. Somebody has probably made like five million in five hours. And you, the only thing you did in five hours. And it does, it's not just one day. Because if you want to be a savage king or queen, it's a continuous process. Like coming to my show every day, you know. It's a job. 
So you have to always wait for somebody to drop something so that you can savage, so that you can savage it. <laughs> and get 100 tweets, uh, 100 retweets and 2000, um, 2000 likes or something like that. So that's just not, if that's not a future, that's not even a present. That's just, what, what are you doing? No, that's not a life. We all know that we're all saying, yeah, we're going to the digital space and this is a new community, but is, are you going to be, is that your, is that your dream for your own digital reality to be savvy? You don't make any money from that. All you do is people just heal you and they move on. They just go. It's just like coming to a wedding. We eat your rice and we go. And then a month later, you're divorced. Yo, we don't care. We've gone. So, yeah. So we said hi to your, we, we kind of like recognize the fact that you're savage and then we keep recognizing it, but you're hungry though. Aren't you going to eat? Okay. So what's up here? I have Ify. Hi, Ify. Ify says, thank you, Joy. You are making so much sense with this SM etiquette, darling. <laughs> Thanks. If only people could get this discernment, except we are throwing cheerful banter. If I say it and you don't see it my way, I'll, I allow you to win. I know fish shout. If you gather your community, I delete my comments and face my front. <laughs> no time. Then he said, P.S. Joy, for your eyes only. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, well, this is for my eyes only, so I, I obviously can't read it. And then that means I can't even answer it. See? <laughs> you have denied people the opportunity to learn something, Ify. I love you, girl. Anyways, so yeah, um, savage is not a job, okay? So you have to just try and know how to manage your time. Because for some, let me tell you how crazy social media is, right? I don't really... Facebook makes it very... Because that's, my, that's the one I take seriously, Facebook. And it has been good to me. It doesn't, it doesn't expect me... It doesn't expect too much of my time. Because I, maybe because I'm a writer, I write my stuff in three minutes and I'm gone. And I check the comments like two hours later, right? But for people who are really into this social media thing, you'll find that when you open your social media pages in the morning, if you're not disciplined, before you check your time, it's 6 p.m. It's 6 p.m. Think about that. Like, really think about that. It is here. Digital space is here to make us better. But if you are not disciplined, it will destroy you. All right, I have paper by files next. Okay, all right, Ify. Um, just you know, you could just send me a message on in my inbox, and I'll add you up on Facebook. Okay, girl. All right. Okay, so it's still JIB live on Hot ninety three point three. We're talking social media etiquette today. Yeah. So the next one is, don't beg on social media, please. Stop it. Don't beg. Oh God, just stop it already. Don't beg. It's just no, 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 no. Okay. I think, I think the worst um, platform for that is Instagram. Oh my goodness. These people can come up with lies though. Like I'm sure some of it, some might, some might be true, but I, I have a feeling 95% of the time it's just like some real blatant lies. Like, you know, my mother is sick. My daughter is sick. I'm this. I'm not eating in three days. I'm not. No. And everywhere, like everywhere, we do know that this is the capital of poverty, Nigeria. But like, no, though, don't do that. Don't, please. This just has to be another way. I don't even know if people respond to those things. I, I'm, I have a feeling they do because that's why they keep doing it. It's just how, you know how you see, I always wonder when I drive in traffic and when I'm in traffic and people sell phones i've seen people sell iphones on in traffic and i was telling my friend that yo people actually buy phones in traffic and she's like joe joy if they don't buy would they still be here <laughs> you buy phones in traffic though <laughs> okay you know so i don't beg on social media uh, I, don't, I don't know it's just really it's just very cringeworthy but you know people would argue that people are poor the nation is poor what's cringe what's cringeworthy if people want to die if people are dying of photo I can't understand it, but I just wish there's just other ways for a human being to preserve their dignity, even if they don't have very much. And that brings me to the other side of the conversation. Don't brag. Oh, gosh. Stop it already. There's something um, someone t always says to me. Uh, he'll say that, you know, if you really have money, you don't spend too much time trying to tell us the effects and the, and the, the consequences of your money. Because it will be so, it's so, it's, it's your life already. So when you have money, I always remind us that, you know, you drive 10 cars, you know, you have like what, uh, you have the moon come down to your house every, every night to keep you warm. You have the sun boiling your water because you can afford this, because you could do that, because you could do, do, do. I'm like, okay. And it's not as if you're a Yahoo boy because only Yahoo people are always shocked 
when they steal from people and make dollars. If you actually legit work for your money, how are you still so carried away by it? I don't get it. You know, I mean, legit rich people, they don't get carried away by wealth because it's already, they have already conquered it. How do you still brag about something you've conquered? You know how the hunter goes into the, 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 you know, into the forest to, to kill an antelope. And then he brings it to town. He's not the one screaming. He's just carrying it on his back, right? He's not the one screaming. It's the kids and the women clapping for him. <laughs> Have you ever seen a hunter kill an antelope and he's coming to the village and he's the one, yo, yo, I've killed the antelope. I'm so, I'm so badass. I'm so this. I'm so that. I'm so this. I'm going to fly to them. I'm like, no, he's already conquered something a lot of people cannot conquer. He's, it's a skill, you know? <laughs> so the rest of the world will just be clapping for him. So I don't understand these rich people who come to social media and they're telling us how they can afford the moon, how the, this is not affecting them, how that is not affecting you. We've heard now, like, yo, all right, okay. It's just, it's just bad behavior. Ugh, this is disgusting behavior. Anyways. <laughs> I have... Okay, I have Bumi Fanny, you're here. <laughs> I have missed this, sh- I have missed this show, Chai. <laughs> Hello, JIV. I miss you. Social media etiquette, very important topic to buttress on because a lot of people don't know social media has a lot of influence on their personality. I can't tell a lot about a person even, I can tell a lot about a person even through social media. They probably can't fathom. Um, be conscious when online, don't get carried away by what you see or how you feel at that moment. Think and consider your dignity. Think and consider your dignity. Think and consider your... Di- I can't say that enough. Thank you so much for sharing that, Bumi. All right. Have a great day, Bumi. Thank you. Okay, that's it. Think and... I just... That's just a... Can we just round up already? That was just a great way to, you know, to 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 round up the social media um, topic. But I need to say this. Uh, let me see. Don't force connection. Please don't force connection. If it's not... If, it's, if you're not connecting to someone, yeah... Just let them be. Just because you have um, 200 mutual friends in common doesn't mean you have to be friends with the person. It doesn't mean anything. Just because everybody likes the person doesn't mean you have to be friends with the person. And also, if everybody doesn't like, it hates the person, it doesn't also mean you have to be the enemy of the person. If you can't find connection with somebody that is likable, it doesn't mean you are not likable. It's just, it's just connection. These things are not something you can manipulate. Let it go. There's so many other people on social media to connect with. So don't force connection. It makes you look so desperate. And you know how desperate looks on anyone. It just doesn't feel right. Okay. So don't force it. And also, um, don't pretend to be someone else you're not. That's, that's misrepresentation will kill you because the thing about social media, it never forgets. Whatever you have there in 2003 is going to be waiting for you. So you have to be careful. Don't, Lie about who you are. Don't lie about people. And, you know, <laughs> everybody's online now. Probably there's somebody who knows you to your doorstep. Probably on, the person is online and they'll rat you out. So, you know, just say your truth and say it as much as you can. I know that for people like us who are writers, we have an advantage because we can really write things that bring draws that would draw people to us because we have the skill. But, you know, whoever you are, whatever however you can pass on your own message try and pass it as genuinely and honestly as possible don't be a fraud don't be a fraud it's just not necessary and um okay so let me take this last one so i'll take this song and then round up the show birthdays birthdays are i don't like wishing people birthdays a happy birthday it's too cumbersome because like you have like 200 messages received and yours is buried in there. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't also like people wishing me birthday. Don't wish me happy birthday. I always say it every year. Yo, don't wish me happy birthday, okay? Just let it go. I don't need all of that. All the messages will just bury my the important posts that I have put up. It doesn't mean anything. Unless you're buying me a gift. <laughs> Unless you're buying me like an S10. <laughs> like the one Edem has, my friend. <laughs> Unless you're buying me a gift. The happy birthday, I don't know. I don't need it. Yeah, I don't need it. So it's just very cumbersome. And two people really take it personal and they say, you know, because you didn't wish you happy birthday, I'm not gonna wish you okay, so I've closed my own page so that you don't feel like you are obligated to wish me anything. Alright? Okay, so people take this birthday thing really, really seriously. I just think it's just another day. It's just another day. I think I would rather 
uh, mark my my life based on achievements and not whether I'm getting older or not. I don't I don't see the celebration in that. But we're also very different. As long as you respect where I'm coming from and I can respect where you are coming from, then we can make the social media space a happy place. How about that? Okay, that's the show for today. I'll be here tomorrow again. It's Jive Live. Enjoy the rest of your day. This is Sean Tizzle. Bye.